let's show you how to create another um, icon and it's called master pdf editor this thing this application that somebody asks on the website never taken a look at it but it seems like it's quite professional and um, let's make an icon for it so i found already that it's hidden away in the opt so many things are hidden away in opt that's why it's in here in my bookmarks so you see all these applications have a place on your system and this one has um, its place here and it has a png so png is not an svg so would be better if we found something uh, with an svg extension but not available so let's do this exercise a little bit difficult but let's give it a try so desktop control v let's work here it's still there let's just copy paste it over to the desktop okay then let's open it not with nomax but with a alternative to photoshop which is gnu image manipulation program in short gimp when everything opens up make it as big as possible let's zoom in a little bit control scroll mouse and you can use the sliders as well here what i need to have is only the white the white elements i would be great if i i don't need a pdf thing it would be great if i would have this kind of elements in my inkscape so we need to get to inkscape this is a png it's fixed can't do anything with it it's rubbish in the sense of i can't edit it i can't change it I can't drag it can't make it any any different okay so there are some tools up here the cropping thing is an one that we gonna need because i don't need the pdf stuff right i can also make a little bit smaller even like so enter so pdf is gone already we can save it again overwrite okay overwrite it's overridden let's get rid of here this card changes i have now this little small thing this time i'm gonna open it with a very strange application because Inkscape is not ready to embrace the PNG stuff, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, maybe it works like this as well. I typed it correctly, so I should find it. Embed link, etc. Mm, we might do this one. Okay. So this is back in Inkscape. You know that all the Sardi icons, surfing icons, all these guys here are all SVGs. We can change them, we can edit them, we can let scripts loosen them and change the colors. That's the fun. Now, is there a way to tell Inkscape to track this Y thing? There is. You can go to, I think the best thing is this one, trace bitmap. Let's see if this works. So this is for now on trial and error even for me live preview will help then um edge detection let's see if that works that's this thing brightness cut off brightness color quantization invert image brightness steps colors grays And then we can, can start changing these thres thresholds or threshold. It's not with an H threshold. Okay. So edge detection might be a good thing. Let's see what changes. Like I said, it's not one of the easiest videos this. group of paths invert image position colors i just need one color right actually i need two three six colors <laughs> it's 
just want to wait. That's the invert an image for you. Let's see what we get if we do this. So then we get this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Actually, if I can fill it up, and it's not that bad. Well, the, the line in between is broken, so this line is gone and that line is gone. It not, it's not the worst thing, but it can be maybe better. So, if we do that again, and what about another solution? Uh, stop, stop, quit. Now I've created another one, I guess. Yep. So I'm deleting this one again, moving it more or less in there. There's also trace pixel art that we can check out and see if this works. Or not. Okay, let's try. We have this. And basically, what do we have? We have a bunch of lines. A bunch of lines. What if we do then... Simplify. Control L. Control L, Control L, Control L, Control L, Control L. This might do the trick, right? Uh, we need a background. Control Z, by the way. First, Control Z. Document properties. Background. Crash. So, what was I doing? I was taking a look at this thing. Fine, and then I want to move it. Okay, that's nice. That's one part that I can use. You see? That's nice. This one is another part that I can use. If, if, and if. Control L, 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 Stop. Okay, undo. Undo, Control Z. That's ugly. Control Y, or Control L again. Am I still in here? Okay, he's not. So what I'm doing is pressing Control. So this is a group. Don't want to group, so I press in Control and click on the element. So now I'm ungrouped actually. So you can ungroup here as well. And, and then we have this one. This guy can go over here. Control L L L L L. And this one as well. Control. Well, let's first move it out of the way. And Control L L L L to simplify. So that's one of the, the ways to work. Do we like the way to work? I don't know. I mean, I'll have to see about that. So it's just a little bit rudimentary. The lines are a bit... Shift, I don't know. Yeah, shift is correct. Or control shift is moving that. Okay. So this is what we came up with. Whether you like it, you hate it, it's ready, it's there. Oh, basically, if you zoom in, it's not that bad if you zoom out. But is there a better way? A more straight and straight way? Or we can look for a bigger image as well. Desktop. Remember, we're in Opt. In Opt, we found an image. 
is this the only image that you put on my system? Is that the only image you put on my system? In applications, no, in icons, in high, high, high color. Did you put anything in here? PDF, no, nothing PDF -y. Let's try Falcon, yeah. So there is no PDF anywhere or any master. So that's the only icon I have. I have the internet open. Yes, I have. So I'm taking a look at master PDF SVG. Is it available? Images. Oh my god, really? Ah, we see the difference. I hope. Nope, no master PDF. Let's do one word. Well, lots of things. But no icon or logo. It's not a nice word. Logo master PDF. So no, no easy way out. So if you can find an SVG online, that would be great, right? But let's try again, another trial, in the hopes I can make these lines better. They're not that bad. Let's group it. So make it a little bit bigger. This is going to be the look. It's not that bad. It's rather artistic to have some broken things. And we're probably never going to get a line, straight at line, only if we go inside here and start using the points using here our lines. Um, for instance, we can delete that guy and then say to that guy that it should be a straight line. And then this maybe keep it rounded, just keep it rounded, delete, not delete maybe, but make it equal. That's already something. So, and make it a little bit straightened. Is there also an icon in here? Control, zooming. So this guy is a little bit off. I can make so many, many strange things, but good things is always easy. Making it strange is super easy. Maybe we should continue the work. So this element has here some buttons up here. This one stands out a little bit, needs to go more to this direction. And then this a little bit straighter. So if I wanted to have a straight line, I probably should kill this guy. So delete. And this one is over here. And try to use these elements to make a nice round point. It's often very, very debatable um, whether it is straight or not. But we can help this guy. We can say, make it straighter. Then we need maybe to have a point in here and delete that guy. Or even delete this guy and use a point in here and delete this guy and delete that guy. But then of course, make it back a little bit more roundish. So basically I'm using the corners to make it a little bit better and clicking this line, deleting that point of load, whatever it is, doesn't matter what it's called. 
really, as long as it's nice. So about this, it is a little bit strange that this maybe is a straight point, so we can make a roundish point. Whoops, that's making it worse. If we delete that guy here, that's too much, and this is too much as well. No, not improving. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. And the thing that was bugging me was this guy. Actually, that guy. That's better, yes, that's better. And before you know it, 30 minutes has passed. Here is a strange kink. That's that guy. It is a bit sharp. Zoom in. And you can keep, keep, keep going. But basically, you know what I've um, done? Go to find some PNG and then use a path here to trace the bitmap and figure some of the settings out. It's just playing around with settings and thresholds and all that thing until you say OK and then see what you get. And then so the, the other big tip was simplify. So you get less points because we get hundreds and hundreds of points. But if you go back to the notes, we should need only a few to have a beautiful SVG. And now I'm going to continue my work, but I'll not record it anymore. All right. Enjoy developing items.